Previously on Resident Evil 5. Impressive. They appear to be focusing sunlight into a laser-like beam. Yeah, it's all fun and cool until it burns us alive. Wow! I did not think it would keep doing that. Oh, shit. Ooh, thank you, Shava, for one. Shava, get over here before you burn up. Shava, get over here before you burn up. Shava, you dumb fuck. Come on! Get over here. I bet she wonders why she got hurt from that. Now, let me just walk through this. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> that level is a pain in the goddamn ass. Great! Good job, Shava. Good fucking job. Are you okay? Uh. Those beams are dangerously focused. Oh, really, Shava? You don't fucking say. All right, we got it! Hey, get your ass over here, Shava. What would Umbrella do? Some of this equipment's got the Triso logo on it. Are they working together? Bulletproof vest. All right, there we go. Let's upgrade that shotgun a lot. All right, let's go for another uh, round of this. I wonder if this is what. Already is chapter answer. five. Not sure, but obviously there's a connection here with Umbrella, and that's never a good sign. Okay, if I beat this before I, with, sorry, not before, but with less time than I beat Resident Evil Four. The uh, remastered version, despite having a more general feeling for that game, that's a point against this game. I want more time, not less. We can worry about this later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Investigate. Flowers. Maybe Wesker just wanted to give some flowers to Rebecca, because, you know, he really likes the young girls, because uh, the kind of creep he is. Okay, yeah, wires for flowers. Okay, cool beans. What what says about what? About Wesker? Oh, um, apparently I saw on Reddit. Um, I forget which game it's in, but he has a picture of Rebecca from Resident Evil Zero, uh, from like high school or something that he just keeps in his desk. Yeah, Wesker's a creeper. Oh, it's actually, I guess ammo upgrades do get you full ammo. Maybe it's only for already half full ammo, I don't know. Read document. From Chief Research Brandon's journal number one. 1966. Oh, jeez, it's boomer shit. Uh, Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. That sounds so 60s. Supposedly this flower would give the person who consumed incredible abilities. I thought it was nothing more than rumor of legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but later research proved him wrong. Mr. Spencer was the bad guy uh, from RE0, so... First person to recognize the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. Oh, sorry. No, it was Spencer. Ah, I forget it was Spencer or Marcus. It's, it's Marcus who's the baddie in Resident Evil 0. It's a mimicry. Marcus is the, the, uh, the wormy boys. Spencer is not the main antagonist. My bad. He hypothesized that a virus, here to known, might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so perspicacious. Really ripped out the, the thesaurus for that one, huh, game? The virus discovered in the flower that was labeled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results, and staved off attacks on the Endipaya. At such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, and probably very leechy, by my experience, uh, was in good spirits. He wants her to turn home as soon as possible to delve deeper into the research and probably have leeches all over him. I feel the same way. I wanted to learn the secrets of this progenitor virus as soon as possible. 67. Oh, jeez. February 12th. We've hit the metaphorical brick wall. We brought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA altering characteristics. We cultivated the flower to mass produce the progenitor virus. At first, everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. A short more time, they flowered. But here's where a major problem surfaced. Or sorry, when a major pro problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. The purpose environment in which they were grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. We've made no progress. We've tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, both no luck and triggering development of the virus itself. Nani? I'm sorry, yo, then stop posting my Discord. You're spamming my Discord and being like, silence it. Let me just... Bruh. Now you're just trolling. <laughs> Thus far, we have changing... We have tried changing the soil, water, temperature, and light exposure with no success. 
I got into a heat debate with Dr. Marks about the direction the research, this research was taking. During the debate, Mr. Spencer interjected some foolhardy notion of starting a company. The company? Umbrella. The progenitor virus is no point starting a company. Does he not see that at all? It's pointless. Now you're doing a bit of trolling. Let's go in, Shiva. Have some fun. What do you think uh, would happen to a Basset Hound that was infected by the T-Virus? He'd probably become an even better boy. From Chief Brands, Journal Number 2. Oh, geez. More um, more exposition. 1968. We smoke some weed, man. It's been over a year since we've had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I have decided to return to Africa. We can no longer continue our research at the progenitor virus. I know those routine attacks by the Endipaya are really going to wreck my nerves. For the sake of our research, I will persevere. In the face of foreseen dismay, it was Mr. Spencer who provided the answer. <clears throat> if we're worried about the Endipaya, then we'll just have to remove them from the equation. I can only imagine the look of shock on our faces. That didn't ever occur to us. It was quite an atypical situa a solution to our problem, but seemed to be the only option available. Dr. Marcus and I decided to try Mr. Spencer's plan. Hmm. Following some good news, we learned they were able to chase the Indipaya off, the la off their land. The land we acquired only amounts to half of those underground ruins, but if it includes a ruin, or if it includes an area where the gender flower grows, then there should be no issues. Mr. Spencer said his plans to construct research facilities at the site would to expedite our research into the virus. <clears throat> we hastily made our preparation to part for Africa, but Mr. Spence requested that Dr. Marcus Dane Raccoon City take over the training center. We were initially taken back by this request, but soon realized it was a logical course of action. Marcus needed a calm environment to properly conduct his research. If we were in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use at this time. I just hope the African research facilities get built soon. So now we'll go alone to Africa and send back samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. But Dr. Marcus and Mr. Spencer agree this is the best course of action. I start making preparations to go. I have a feeling I'll be pretty busy starting tomorrow. December 29th. I've been in Africa for two weeks now. It's a good thing Dr. Marcus isn't here. This is far from being a paradise of research and scientific study. The so-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents we have to employ armed soldiers to keep the Andapaya at bay. Well, I mean... The thing that gets my nerves the most is that some of the construction of the real research facilities. How am I supposed to concentrate? Suppose. It's how am I supposed to concentrate? Where is it? Fuck. Uh, on research when everything is threatening to drive me insane. I'm trying to just concentrate on extracting virus samples from the gender flower so I can send them to Dr. Marcus. Hopefully, I can focus on my, re my work, work so I can remain sane in this god forsaken place. 1969! Nice. The research facilities are finally completed. This is a real umbrella. Africa Research Center, not just some pile of tents. But I've come to, realize, come to a realization in the past nine months. These faci the facilities are too small for our needs. They make them larger, size matters, uh, and more suitable for our research. And then we can fill them with more talented researchers. This place seems to be our front line in our progenitor revised research. Uh, our results will do a great search to Dr. Markson's viral research. Jesus Christ, this is so much. In rare term events, this, that old skinflint Spencer actually agreed with me on this. Woo! Jesus. I feel older after reading that. God damn. Should have also bought a first aid kit, but I guess if I need it, I'll get it. Take it! Okay! I don't like this thing. What the hell is that? Great. I don't know how, but they could be using them to produce biological weapons. This is the facility from the picture, no doubt about it. We're finally getting somewhere.
I don't think they're from Mother's Day. Oh, really, Chris? Well, um, if you bust the tank, that might be not good for them. Let's turn that on. I'm sure it'll be fine. Great! More exposition. Or more story. We need that. An email to an acquaintance. Next. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to be getting some time off soon. Complete most of our work on the new project. Sorry, you know I can't talk about work. You're going to have some time off as a reward for all of our hard work. Okay, that sounds nice. All staff are leaving tomorrow and we'll finally be getting off or out of this country. I'm heading straight back to Arizona and I can't wait to get back home and see everyone. That's nice. More than that, I think I'll just be happy to get away from the high and mighty Miguel. I think he's some sort of super genius. I mean, he's a guy that's sitting next to me at work and he's good at research and all, but he, don't get me wrong. He's got some good ideas and is good at noticing details. Every time he opens his mouth, he just goes on and on about how great he is. I can't even begin to imagine the torture it is to that day to hear that in day in and day out. I wish made a sedative I could give him. Woo! But forget all that. When Maris says I should get back home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. We gotta go out and get smashed. I could use a break. Talk to you soon, Ryan. Okay, Ryan. Well, I got smashed. You Ryan? What's this Wolverine shit going on here? I don't like that at all. Alright, let's turn this. I don't get this. A wall of happy juice. No smash. Probably for the best, honestly. Pull the liver, crunk! If that's Marcus again somehow or something, I'll be pissed off. Oh. I was sure that would work. I didn't think it would. Okay. Hey, it's a goat. Bad dog. Take it, Roger. Um, uh, hmm. Ah. Get fucked, weirdos. Oh great, treasures. I don't get two, you little bastards. You little fucks. All right, there you go. Let's turn it. Come on, Chris. Put some muscle into it. Thank God there weren't more okay. of them. Okay. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. Yeah, that seems very much like foreshadowing, but uh, I'll leave that for a second.
Boom. I don't know why clearing the game or a level and a half an hour is considered bad for a lot of these levels. Uh. Oh, really, Chevy? You don't think they will? I think Chevy's just dumb. I guess. Oh, good fucking job. If that wasn't fucking for shouting, I don't know what is. Get him off me, please. Thank you. Get fucked. Liquor? I don't know what the hell these guys are called. Um, they're kind of, I think they're like hunters from the first game. You know, like the kind of bullshit enemy that just pops up out of nowhere and fucks you up. He's about right to me. I legitimately thought maybe I should try and uh, just bust through this, but... No, I, I didn't, man. So there we go. Sheva, you dumb fuck. Whatever, you ain't get close enough to me in time. Fuck, fuck, fuck. If we die, we'll get first aid spray for sure. Ah, they're coming, aren't they? Is this for you? Should we get the fuck out of the goddamn way? Good. Let's reload. And reload there. Surely this is the whole chapter. Surely. Look, it's not. Surprise, surprise. I actually didn't, I did not really think it would be, but... This much ammo screams, um, boss is coming up. Okay. I owe you one. Thanks. I need ammo. Take this.
I may actually want to use that. We'll see. There's a lot of ammo they just gave us, so this is going to be a boss fight. At the very least, a mini boss. Or maybe a very big horde. What the hell? This is in the pictures, too. Wait. That means Jill might be here. Huh? It's gonna be a generator. Oh no, he just fell to his death, okay. What have they done? Switch for Jill Valentine, all right. Jill. I wonder how many reference names there were. There's so many. They have such funnies. Having people from all over the world to experiment on. Why is it all so buggy? the correct parts. It's obvious where they are, come on. Oh great, yeah, open up, come on. Eat that buckshot. Yeah, I know he's gonna come out. There we go. Cross ends. Stupid buggy boy.
Yes, I know he's there. Have another one. More grenades for you. The shell is off. Maybe that's what. Guess I'll aim for it. He's already dead. Kidding me? Die, please. There we go. Die, buggy boy. Finally. Thank fuck. Good boss fight. Totally. Whoa! Is this Jill? Actually, it might be. It's empty. See, Jill won't get caught. Damn it. Where is she? Does she? Maybe. It's time we get some answers. All right, this is a good time to end, I think. Clear time C. Everything else is S, but clear time is C for being having it take 24 minutes. Like how? We're in chapter five one now. How quickly do they expect me to go through this game?